terminal connected to the Advent network through one of their facilities in this area was left exposed by a resistance hacker during a previous intrusion attempt. We think it may be possible to recover data critical to the alien's latest operation and stop their progress, but we'll have to move fast. Advent is already working to close the connection. Remove enemy forces from the area, lock it down, and recover that data. Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Blue infiltration. Um, we, we, we're doing hacking, we're, we're hacking something, which I feel like we haven't had a hacking mission in a while. Which I guess is not too bad since we have the barrier dark event active. The access point where after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile uh, resistance. You know, generally I like hacking. We have a chance to get some extra goodies. A nice timer mission every, uh, always. It's a, has a weird, weird starting position. Okay, we've got our hacking objective here. We are on the low ground where we don't want to be. So let's see that if we can through here. safely make it up there. And here I thought goat men were strange. Okay. So we're gonna droop up here and then some enemies down there. We also have exalts spawning in after our first engagement turn. This is all a little bit tricky. Back here, so with your double shots, you are probably better suited to fight this group. Moving out. You can grapple, you're kind of flexible and engaging either group. Sniping. Double snipers, and I actually don't have any good good sniping spots. If they come up here, like anything like this, can maybe get us spotted from the flank. That's a lot of ifs. So this way we get spotted here. Hmm. Big concern here is that I'm kind of trying to, to see to get you up on the high ground to get advantage from damn good ground, but you're not shooting at anything on lower ground, so. I'm all over it. So we'll place you there. Moving on target location. Place you here. Now this is gonna be a little bit more tricky. In here should be okay unless again if they exactly come this way with their full movement to get in range to reveal me here, so be it. I want my shotgun close by. I think I'll just park you here. With decent mobility and dedication. Let's do this. Get to whatever side needs him. Overwatch. Although outside Dini, you don't want to be moving for steady hands, but you know. It is what it is. I also did. Uh, I, I had three, uh, a few empty inventory slots, so I brought the cross grenade here, and I think another med kit somewhere, and and other stuff. I think they are almost completely out of out of sight here. They're going on the low ground. Unexpected.
Hmm. Let's see the mech right now. I am thinking here. Yeah. Like we broke line of sight with this group. Probably keep our snipers here overwatch in case they come back once we engage here. And if the mech doesn't move to a position where Crumpet can see us with his two shots, he should be able to kill it. Mooney can run and gun, we still have our gunner to move. And I think we're just gonna move Night Father in and take a shot at the snake. And go from there. Edge down, we're spotted. Ah, the mech doesn't even move. Ah, XCOM, why do you have to be this way? Why do you have to be this way? I guess then technically it doesn't count as active. Maybe I'm just gonna overwatch with everybody and, and hope for the best. I, I guess that'll be okay. Affirmative. Covering Come now. Come get some. Come get some. Do not test Scanning. my patience. Roger, holding. In position. If you hunt I wish there was a way to disable the positive sit trap. They're like, yeah, you know what? I want 15 people talking about hunkering down every single turn. I'm good. Advantageous cover, I'll just pass. Nice shot on that guy. Oh, he's down. Okay. Exalt squad actually dropping in fairly close. Mech not moving at all. What? Okay, you will actually get a reaction here if I don't one shot you. There was another group over there. Um, what is what is your deal anyway? If not suppressed, so if we suppress you. You're not gonna get a reaction. Okay. Just my grenades. Yada yada. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna get you close. Sure, up here. Gives me an option to. Am I really going with. Uh, as long as nothing's active, you don't have to have cover. Or we could activate dedication and get here. We take suppressing fire. Just a little off. Stay put. We'll take a reaction unless suppressed. Um it's gone. It's gone. I really I really want to like you sometimes, but uh, other times not so much. Just mineral that. And then we graced it. <laughs> Not a problem. Is this what we're looking That's for? That's right. Hit 
good now. Yeah, this uh, could have gone better. This could have definitely gone better. There's still a freaking mech around that he's like, I'm not being behind the pillar, you killed my buddy. I'm scared. Uh, I think I'm still gonna be. Need, I need to be up here to get any sort of shots in next turn. Got it. Moving. Okay. Not the best uh, situation. Like, we're close to Axel, but we don't have actions. We don't have actions to deal with them. Yes, we Got can pistol covered. overwatch. I'm on it. Standing fast. Standing fast. Staying put. Yeah, yeah, we're all standing fast. Sighted. I'm going in there. Designated position. That wasn't a Weak bad kick. effort. Sometimes participation is the most important thing. We do have EMP bomber. I'm not sure that's the that's the right play here. Um what do we have? Probably suppression suppressing fire on one of the mechs. Sparks, whatever they are. One proper grenade on someone, don't I? Didn't I? Didn't I bring... Is, I, is that you? Yeah. Okay, so you're not... I guess you're not cleaning up your own cover here to then blast them. You look psionic, so... Um, maybe we use a flashbang for that. Risk is if I'm going here to flank Crazy Eyes, I might trigger that mech, or even you know, the other group there. So I'm kind of thinking just get going here and hoping that it's close range. I depart. Activates the turret. And the mech. Oh, Joe, that guy got a lot of sight on me there. Questionable at best. Alright, let's uh, point blank you. Let's see what that gives us. And do I even mention brutality? No. Oh, boy. Me and you are down. Wonderful. Maybe brutality just doesn't work um, with Axel because they bleed out and they don't die. And so, uh, you know, you only get, only get the bonus if you kill something. Talking about hitting something. Uh, what can these these spark guys do? Marauder, triangulate, demolition that would be real nasty. Yeah, I kind of still think our oh, flashbang has insane rape. So we can flashbang, flashbang these two. Like, he should not be immune to flashbang. I think then you gotta 
use suppressing fire on this guy. That we might as well reload. Trying to make my butt. Okay, so you're definitely gonna shoot the mech. Let's see what we get out of it. It hit the plate. Six more. So I guess you can hopefully finish the mech off. Or alternatively you. Well one of you finishes off the mech, the other one finishes the spark. You Gonna be greedy. Asset secure. This one's gonna be bright. Oh, focus. Okay, here you have line of sight on the Mac and the uh, the Mac and the Mac. Moving. Let's see what our shots are. 100%. Oh, that's a seven. Um, I think you are doing six minimum. Yeah, you don't have 100%. But with the armor, we need the six damage. Wonderful, and then you can finish it off. Great, great. Kill confirmed. Toss me some ammo. Do that kid. I can give it a try. I require aid. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Double move. Missed zero percent. Ah. Oh, reveal. My train down here. Oh, come on. That was close. Reveal this. Um, now here's the big question. Are these guys vulnerable to tech? Can I, can I damage them with an EMP? It looks like it. Stunt the other guy. Okay, so that's those two taken care of. Um, got a, a little torch there, and you should be able to get a flank here on the side. You're probably going to suppress this. Closing on target position now. They're moving to flank me! 100% to crit. Oh, yeah, because 40 from exposed and 10 from mountains. Just, just shoot, shut up, thinking about this. Not sure I can make it. Our target, minimal damage. Target, minimal damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, you can do minimal damage every turn, my friend. Totally okay with that. All right, this guy's shut down. Roger that. 
poisoned, indeed. Okay, you got a 70 to kill this guy. You have 74 to kill this guy, but you have a 90 to hit the turret. Let's go for the, go for the kill here first. But you reveal this. I'm really. I think uh, this time. This time we're gonna do it. We're gonna throw an evac and have somebody carry out the psionic. Even if that means we have to fight the rest of the mission with, with one man down. Armor still holding. Kind of thinking, yeah. Let's go here. We could go to full full cover here, but I don't want to reveal anything else of this area. Sure thing. You know, there's a second turret up top, and there's at least a group of a priest or something down here. I don't assume you're cauterized as double damage to robotics. No, it's not combat protocol. The numbers. We trust you that we have another turn to do this. Also, if you're not hacking the objective. I'll take the objective from you. Again, we know there's a second group, and we saw there was a second turret. It's, it's, it's not unnecessarily rushed things. You can shoot the. Yeah, you can finish off this. Maybe I get you to whack that guy next turn. Potentially. Heading out. Let me see. Yeah, so next turn you can move here, pick up, evac. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready to go. Only the best. I think we're gonna gonna chill then with the rest here. Locked and loaded. Stay alert. Get that running gun. They evac now. <laughs> Lead up timer time. showing three turns. Gonna write a very, very mean letter to the. Okay, so they always evac one and turn early, but at least it's not two turns early. Okay, let's just. See, we can do this. Okay, yeah, we can carry and evac out. Let's see what we can do about these enemies here. I 
and grapple. Move over here. And then move somewhere. Need to move all the way up to here in the open to get a flank on the priest, so that's not gonna be not really gonna be good. Oh, first things first, sniper. You really only have to shot up top. I'm kind of debating if I want to shred him first with the cannon, but I think we can maybe do suppressing fire on the sentry and then run and gun the, the priest. Means you are also just gonna go for the mech, and we need the seven now. Oof. Uh, let's use the free action here for the battle scanner. Get the location of the turret. It's also a drone over there. Okay. So that's a risk that we activate that when we run and gun in. This is where we see the drone. Be a great flank on the priest if I go over here. Let's see. Well, first of all, I think I think we need to finish off the mech here. Advent troops. Oh, as um, the drone is not alone, as a Naja with her, which is not moving. Is this the the broken tile? Now this complicates things a little bit. Still think the max the biggest threat right now. What did you expect? The Naja moving is weird. Like normally <sighs> Naja's move. Right? If you flank them, they move and then they can't shoot because they can't shoot after roof. If it's somehow stuck there and unable to move in the first place, I don't think it will care. Then it will just take its sniper shots. Uh, not a problem. I'm going. Survive the capture. X six ability points for capturing. All right. Well, here's the thing, right? If we have these guys active anyway... No? Guess the drone is not active yet? What is even active? Who even knows? These two? Three? And maybe this? And, and maybe, maybe this still counts as active? No, well, oh, it's the turret I'm activating here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. What's the range on brutality again? So 10 tiles? Okay, so Naja is not in range of the priest, and vice versa. Think I'll gamble. 
running on the priest. Point blank him. Hope the sentry panics and then get the cannon shot on, on the snake. And then if the drone stuns me, ooh, big deal. Stun doesn't do damage. Now you die. As long as this world is plagued by demons, my hunt will continue. the objective. An excellent strike. It never works. Okay, so didn't get the panic. So we probably want to what? The fact that you see the snake makes me think maybe you're, you're not actually in cover against the snake. In fake cover. If you say so. Best option here is suppressing fire against this guy. So he should be... Is he poisoned? No, he's dead. Okay. Yep. Snake doesn't care. And... 45. Yeah, I guess I was in cover. Even is evacuating these guys. All right, we can we can still hack next turn, right? That's fine. Let's just finish off the last few enemies here. You're nothing to me. I'm trusting you here. Something like data. Watch list. Attempting infiltration. Are you gonna get reinforcements after the killing the objective here? The chats are so low. I think this like it's the higher impact if we actually get it. Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Good copy. Moving on target. There's another troop out there. Scanning. It's not only a turret wouldn't count as a hostile that needs to be eliminated. Staying no put. My in cover. If you hunt demons long enough, the demons hunt you. Pretty shitty demon hunter. You hunt demons long enough, they're all dead. Uh, anyway, um, I like I like to get a, get a peek on. Well, are you really telling me you can't see the hacky tower from here, or it's just the tooltip not showing you correctly? You have a gremlin, right? You should be able to hack. Oh no, security towers can't be hacked. I'm actually impressed that the tooltip doesn't show oh, you can hack from here because you can't hack on this mission. Not a problem. Confirmed. I think we have some more battle scanners. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going. Check if there's anything else. Ah, there's a full group of whatever the hell that is. Double, triple sidewinder. And a viper. And of course the turret up top.
I think you're much more likely to use your shotgun against the snakes than throwing a single grenade for free damage. Moving to Overwatch. You'll be fine. Digging in. Digging in. Holding. Holding. Getting down of sight here. That was, that was actually a hit for seven there, if I saw that correctly, on the on the Viper. Possibly one of the more dangerous targets there. Kind of more dangerous. Uh, we're looking at, yeah. Looking like we don't have a running gun available. Any sniper shots? What is your best shot? 72 on this. Take it. I love it. Pop dedication and just see where we can get. That's not a flank. You can flank the snake inside. You can flank the snake outside here, which. Target preview says you have line of sight. This preview says you're flanking. My preview, as in what I think is happening here, is you shouldn't be seeing anything from there. What the hell is wrong with you? Hmm. Uh, let's check you. You can grapple all the way up there. Deploying grapple. And point blank flank this snake. Mooney can get here, which is not a flank, but it gets really close to this snake. So we flank you with the cannon. Ah. Through here. First things next. Let's check what kind of shot you get here. Hope not. Not a good one. Not a good one at all. Yeah, that's not eat well. This car is about to go. You can finish off. Very likely. I'm just not sure that we can do 7 damage here with you. That would be max damage or crit. Moving to designated position. You come uh, to a spot where you're not setting yourself on fire. On my way. That's how it's done. I'm running low on ammo. You have a flank for me now. Should always use suppressing fire. Just in case. It's dead. It has Status to be confirmed. Dead. All hostels are down and the area is secure. I better get that loot, Bradford. Alright. Two wounds. One um one and two. What was the wound I got with with, with Captain? Oh it was the, the Viper taking a shot from out in the open, the Naja. And then it was the Muton getting a reaction, even though technically he was suppressed. 
I guess the suppressing fire suppression triggers after the damage and the damage triggers the reaction. I, I, <clears throat> it's an edge case. I, I would argue that this should count as being suppressed and not trigger the reaction, but it might be impossible to code that depending on how the abilities work. So yeah, yeah, MVP captain. And we'll see what we get out of this exalt um, capture. I mean, for being flanked to the muton and three tiles away from him, that reaction shot from him could have been way worse. not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom and we shall overcome this crisis. A right, couple promotions, five day wounds, that's not the end of the world. Okay, over here. We're gonna have the option to pick up main. A weapon that immobilizes the target until the end of their next turn. Uses two ammo five turn cooldown. I wonder how this works with the rulers or with the Berserker Queen most importantly. Well, what are the odds of having you exactly on the mission where we have the Berserker Queen? It will still be good against any other Berserkers, Chrysalids, Faceless, you name it. Field Surgeon, yeah, definitely also worth a pick up. Um, and like this is this is luxury picks, so I think we're gonna we're gonna pick up Field Surgeon and then pick up also Maim for AP fifteen. Yeah, I think we can afford seven. It's fine. What is this down here? Immunity to fire damage. Take less damage from burning foes. Oh, oh, I'm lying. Uh, so if the enemy is burning, those enemies do less damage to you. Eh. 15? I don't think that's about 15. Right, over here we can pick up snapshots, so you can move and shoot. Regenerative mist, traces of restorative gem can be to your smoke grenades. It means knocked out for free health points at the beginning of each turn that they main the RF effects. So about your smoke grenades, you don't have any, unless I give you one. We're gonna grab. We grab snapshots. We do not enter Overwatch with Sniper Rifle after moving. Okay. So the thing is, and I'm not sure, I think at the. Some version of Snapshot made it so that even if you didn't move, your squad side shots were suddenly trash. But it sounds that this is the fixed version with extreme aim penalties at targets beyond 20 tiles on those shots, so shots after moving. So shots without moving shouldn't be affected negatively by picking the perk, so grabbing it. That line is just a nice damage cooldown. Here's a question. Can we... Is this gonna work with Snapshot? Yeah, that smoke grenade thing, I don't think that's worth 15. 
Now let's let's pick up Flatline. I did say I wanna. Um, oh, Crypt Smoke Grenade have an additional charge. That provides some defense for flanked allies. No. Don't give me that much information. I like some defense uh, for flanked allies. Yes, some defense is like my favorite thing. Wouldn't want to leave home without some defense, eh? Um, yeah, let's pick up long watch. It's Henry shot from explosive free aiming fire round. Free aiming fire that deals fire damage and burns. Can be used after moving. I don't believe you. Not with a sniper rifle. Two users permission, six turn cooldown. Oh, free aiming, as in not aimed as a, at a target, but right uh, like an AoE kind of thing. Took me way too long what they uh, mean with the free aiming stuff. Alright, mech racks, personal combat ships, bunch of other stuff. Cool. Well, that's our first mech rank. 17 intel. Alright, let's take a look. 7. Take a look at Maya Arif, Psionic. Serious wounds. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psi operatives can tap into that same power. And make light wonderful. It's gonna be so useful. Uh, I guess that's standard psionic stuff, right? Inspire, psi reanimation. No, that's that's not. I don't think you had psi reanimation. Cement, so much, so steel. Stasis. Cleansing. Isn't that just. Oh, solace is solace aura, okay. These are shield for allies. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shit. Void Rift, Domination. The Schism is right here. Being a Sionic enemy increases side offense by 10 damage for two turns. Seems pretty enough. Well, Cool, I'd say. Inspire is just really solid, though. Being able to give other people an action. Now, I think, like, the... Every Psy ability has a willpower cost here, well, most of them. Which is, like, the whole way this Psionic X Machina works. No cooldown. So the, the thing is, right, um, which makes psionics fairly strong, I think, in this in this mod pack. Well, the reason why I'm taking insanity here for now is that we have the the PCS that also gives psy offense. So suddenly we have what was she? Adapt. A, a squaddy with like a hundred something psi offense. Give you that thing. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> First of all, we can give you a 30 day recovery period. 
but you're in, in good company there. We've got three people with 30 days. All right, um, talking about psionics, we're about to, to research that. And then we'll see what that's all about. Supply research dro um, drop here. Uh, we're scanning the contacts. I kind of want to... Do I want to get the supplies out of the way? Is that worth it? Three days of scanning for 50 supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Can I get shafted on alloys here again? Like, not getting alloys on the black market for two months in a row? A little bit, little bit annoying. <laughs> Did it lead inspired? Well, I guess we're doing this then. I will begin our research immediately. So, I didn't... Did he just say... Experimental Psy. Okay, there is a facility here, which is uh, super expensive. Don't have enough power for. Now to create more powerful psychic equipment. I am still Let me actually... Research priority, Commander. This again. Asian, blah, blah, blah. Originally exoteric melt gem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that even a word? <laughs> This will be the new method of gaining psionic powers. We embed in the gem into a personal combat sim and inserting direct into a soldier's mind is a good way to stabilize these powerful passive psionic powers. So, but can... No, I've never played with this mod, so I'm kind of a little bit... Uh, where... Do we have to then build the facility to actually train people to be able to use psionics? Like, we've seen some people randomly show up with a psyamp, but I don't see any way to actually equip a psyamp people. I think that was just some, some sort of glitch. That they had that after the rookie promotion. All right, let's see again the the side lab here. Okay, so it allows us to create powerful psionic equipment, but also soldiers can do training there in order to fine-tune their control of psionics. Super expensive, and yeah, we need 40 crystals to research Illyrium, which Kana has priority right now. Which might actually be something we'll pick up from the black market here in a second. I think that had Illyrium available. We we got some from the mission just now. We also need to do the black side. Eventually. Okay, any bond training we can do? No. We get to still tired here after the bond training, okay. Just doing a quick check if anyone is coming back here within the next few hours. 
then throw into the bond into the bonding pool. Why is strawberry highlighted if I'm offering you? Shouldn't that be then Vivi being highlighted here? Strange. Like this is the what this this you know exclamation point always means. Like, hey, this is the bond made. Uh, okay. Ah now it maybe it just Okay, it was, it was weird. Anyway, um so yeah, and then it's coming back, but they don't have enough cohesion for the next bond level. Alright, so no no training center shenanigans happening. Our inspiration did prove so this beneficial. converted to an actionable lead. So that means we can, if we want to, attack any facility out there. All right, so far, so good. Oh, we need the Mac background for Illyrium. Well, then let's do the Mac breakdown. What's the Mark II Gremlin? Yes, please. These robot. These facilities look in. You got one pip. You got one pip. And you got two. Considering we are full on pips, that's kind of kind of kind of low number of pips on the facilities. Alright, Sabotage Transmitter South Africa. That's the follow-up mission to our hidden event counter. No, no other reward. What now? Um, what's the timer? Five days. I mean, I want to wait for the combat preparedness and then do this. Have her right in there 15 people ready we should have a squad for this shouldn't we actually let's finish off this just so i don't fly back and forth 50 times yeah then Drop by the black market. See if we can get the remaining Illyrium to start Illyrium research after Max. Market is open. Forty Intel. That. Interested in my face mess. Yeah, no, I don't think we're selling anything else. We've created supplies and can't really buy much at the moment anyway. Um, 20 days of supplies, 11 for the intel, 19 for this. Okay, so everything's gonna stay a little while longer. Do I wait for you and put you on the mission? No, I think. I think we were already kind of planning for the for the black side, weren't we? Setting course for Sector Thirteen, South Africa. All right. Clear everything here. Yeah, I'm fairly certain uh, um, I did kind of make in my mind here a squad for the black side, which would be um, two sharpshooters, right? An assault and various bond mates, and I don't know who else. Probably somebody for stealth, somebody to reconceal the stealth. I seem to remember rambling about something there. Alright, so let's look at the current mission at hand here. 
Sabotage Transmitter. Focusing a little bit on bringing bonds, but I also really should bring people that have full willpower, you know, to allow them to use up some willpower. And potentially uh, have some bond teams. You two have fairly decent compatibility, right? 9.0, yeah. That's what I would count. Uh, um, yeah, that's fairly decent. Right, so we've got cannons, we've got whatever you do. You are my shield guy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, shield stability and all of that. The Templar shenanigans. In terms of stealthy scouting. I'm kind of thinking that um, we're going to keep wherever he is. For the black side. Yeah, for text birds. So I don't think we have any other one, uh, anyone else with concealments. Well, we got one. Shadow, actually two shadows here on covert actions, and then one more shadow. So I get it, right? That the class name changes depending on where you spend your perk points. At the same time, I hate it. Just let the class name be the primary class the whole time. I want to be able to see. Who are my sharpshooters? Who are the people of the sniper rifle? I don't care that I put three points into their gremlin skills. I want to see who has spot sight and sniper rifle. It's me. I, I think it's fairly annoying that the class name of, of people changes like between missions where you take them out. It's like, wasn't that? Where's my sharpshooter gone? Oh, they're now a tech expert. Like, no, this is this is bad. Uh, anyway. I know you've just been on a mission. I, I want some sniper support. It says you could bond with Wilmo. Uh, is Wilmo also available to come on this mission? Doesn't look like it. No. Oh, he, I was like, why is he above the sergeants? Because he's not tired. Okay, but yeah, you know, that's a bond. With a 9.0 compatibility. Seven combined kills. <laughs> Don't go bragging everywhere here. Alright, uh, unequip barracks. Give me three shotguns. Okay, we got grenades. Um, Let's actually also give you proper armor. And possibly medkits. Alright, seems good. Talk about proper armor. Now you get the field plate, you get the good cannon, and then venom rounds. Predator armor. We hope we don't need the pistol this mission, I guess. Not 100% sold on that grenade yet.
I like mind shields on my on my Templars, assuming I don't have any other form of mental immunity, just because otherwise if they're disoriented, they are completely useless, right? They can't use any of their stuff, so being immune to disorient seems good. And we're not fighting in Warlock territory, so he can just randomly show up and crush our mind shield. Um, you can get the second field plate. And sure, you bring a flashbang and a regular grenade. And that's fine. I think the improved, improvised mech rifle is going to be better than the other one. Do we have any other decent enough weapon attachments? We got an advanced scope here. Don't think we have any other armor. Uh, actually, you take the old, you old pistol, and you get the mag pistol. Because chances are, chances are you should actually be running around with the hollow targeter. Okay, let's quickly check if there's anything we want to pick up. Bombardier, maybe. Two additional tiles, is that worth 5 AP to me? Put 8 AP line around here. That shot, maybe a regenerative mist. Yeah, we had that before, we still don't have smoke grenades. Not sold on anything here. Quick draw with the ray pistol, that's great. You could pick up shoulder to lean on. Or just pick up any any free grenade here. Not free though, and I think we're gonna gonna spend more. I, I'm I'm being too picky. Like I've got 150 AP here. Let's just let's just pick up something. Yeah, stack and aim is never wrong. Let's get a little bit more aim. I right, guaranteed hit is a guaranteed hit. Bam! Clutch shot. Get it in there. Uh, it's not like we're spending anything on the stuff from the next row, so let's just grab bomb the here. Get recon next turn, and then we'll see go on. Like, we're not picking slug shot, and needle grenades shouldn't even exist. All right. Operation Rhino Abattoir. Who comes up with these names? Uh, counter Dark Event, Sabotage Transmitter, Potentially Fight the Hunter. The usual stuff coming up in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.